I can park here and welcome in this new shoe test. Today we are going to test DVS Let's Skip Plus. First time ever I skate with DVS. So let's try them, see if they're worth it or not. Let's skate on. Done. Those are really great shoes. Really, really great shoes. First of all, the price. I got it for 40 euros, which is really nothing for a pair of shoes. DVS website, you can have them for 65 dollars, so I definitely got it. Them on sale. But I know they really look worn down, especially the insole. I always fudge the insole, I don't really know why. But I skated intensely, really intensely, and a lot of different obstacles so I guess that for normal shoes because after the three weeks and a half when I, I, I filmed them for the last time they were dead unusable I think that if I skated three times a week when I like I used to do before they will have last one month one month and a half maybe more extremely comfortable shoe really really comfortable light very light usually I don't really care about the weight of the shoe but in this case it was light enough to for me to notice it two shoes force you to skate or land on the tip of your toe so you're gonna be a bit like this it's totally exaggerated but at least you, you get the, the idea behind it uh, you don't have your full power on the whole insole for me it's not a problem at all it's the way I like to skate anyways and the good side on this is that your heel is pretty safe you're not gonna have some heel bows shock absorption of the insole good I haven't done big gaps or whatever but pretty good uh, the biggest thing I've done is probably the down rail that is over there but for me it's something unusual and yeah totally comfortable while doing this the only real downside of the shoes are the lace which is actually um, a selling point because they sell like oh max lace for super durability yeah when they are against the grip I believe it's very durable I pretty much never break a lace but when I wanted to tie my shoes first of all it's pretty hard to tie them at the point you want because they're so thick that it's it's not changing much and when you try to pull harder you actually broke the lace uh, uh, it's what I did I, I break one lace trying to pull too hard on it and I replaced it with uh, not a classic lace but that was thinner probably less resistant way better to tighten up the shoe exactly where you want and I like my shoe tightened up exactly like I want so are these shoes a go or a huge no-no Definitely a go. It, it's a great, great shoe. Uh, great value for money. Definitely better than the last DC Switch S, which at that time was, in my opinion, the best value for money uh, in terms of shoe. But no, DVS Let's Go Plus, boom, rack it up. First place, uh, without any doubt. If I have the opportunity to reskate them, I'll do it and advise it to do so too. On this, uh, I do a video every single week, every single Sunday, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next Sunday. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.